All right. Truth. I know it's painful, Michelle. This may be important. She wore a wedding ring. Mary chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes. A yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Huh. <laughs> when did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came We're going to said, Belmont High School now? Yeah. And did he come and get you? Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Uh, doubt. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. Aha! Uh -huh. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. Two of three, correct. What did I get wrong? Hey! What the? Daddy, the police Go to are room here. Room, I'll talk to you. Daddy, Polly is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's huh. not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Uh-huh. Nines, right. It's kind of odd. You always wear size nines? Sometimes tens. Uh, depends on the brand. Foreign shoes have different sizes. Ready then? You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Uh, is he, is he telling the truth? Mm. I doubt I think. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle, I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Don't you dare do that to the camera. How dare you, sir? How dare you? So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You're just going to screw up my freaking focus, dude. I'm going to doubt him again. You got any way of confirming this story of yours? <laughs> You come here making all these accusations. Yeah. Can I use some evidence against him? Uh, 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 uh. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes. That's right. Where's the school? Belmont High on West 2nd Street. There's a parking lot next door where the parents wait for the kids. Okay. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. Uh, I'll use an intuition point. It is true, Hugo. 
you're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Oh, my God. I got no evidence to go against this guy with. What? 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 I'll just back out. You're off the hook for now. Give me an alternative, Hugo. Give me a reason why I shouldn't take you in for this. My wife and I fought no more than any married couple. It, it, sometimes it got rough. Mm. It was usually about money, okay? I, I'm tight. That, that's not a crime. <laughs> Getting hostile with us Two, is a five, very girl. bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then twenty X. The twenty experience. Wow! You gotta be kidding me, Felt. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Mother. So I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. He was hiding something, but we should go back in there and bust his ass. I don't think he did it, One, though. we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence to leave the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Huh. <laughs> Shut up. I'm a cop. Yes, ma'am? I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is uh -oh. now. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe I was wrong. How's this guy doing? Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but don't shoot him. We need this guy to make a case. Got him! <laughs> Why would he burn his shoe while I'm right across it there? Another trophy. This doesn't look good, Hugo. Ah. Uh -huh. I, I can explain the blood. Okay, explain it then, boy. <laughs> explain it then. Come on. Oh, was an easy case. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, Miss? I don't. It's a woman. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Akersfield and. Call her. Bakersfield. We're gonna yeah. get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. Hmm, Bakersfield. I'm we gotta get sorry. Down here to clean up <laughs> take care of the kid. Shovel. Okay. Now what? You like that's it. Galloway, homicide. Oh, we still gotta go to the five, high school. Four. Why? Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? Send someone okay, down to the juvenile hall to look after a young lady. Alright, it's saving. I'm gonna... it's, okay, it's saving. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in a minute.